welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel on this channel we will mainly talk about beauty lifestyle and fashion so if you want to please subscribe and join the family so guys today I want to start another new series on this channel where I talk about products I have used up and my opinion on them if I would repurchase them again or if they are not good so guys I know usually youtubers like have the whole trash like all in all but I can't do that like I have no space for that my boyfriend would go crazy on me so I only have a few products to share with you where I can really hold them into the camera and talk about it and the other products guys I have pictures of and I will plant them somewhere in and I will use my phone look at the pictures and tell you my honest opinion about the products I have used so guys let me scroll to my to my pictures I took because I I, I kind of put them in the right order I hope they are still there please okay and I will still use with, uh, start with the use products I have used and I have here. So the first product I have is a non-makeup product, so we kind of get them out. And I want to talk about the Body Shop uh, Share Shower Cream. It's my favorite shower, uh, shower cream. I love this so much. I love the scent. I love the body butter. And I will definitely buy this again, probably in the scent, when I used up the body lotion too. Next one. I will just go through this really hard. I have the Banana Boat Sports PH SPF 110 and this is such a good SPF for your body. You definitely don't get sunburned. It's very easy to apply because you have like the spray. Is there still something left? Oh, a little bit. You see now? Uh, it's nearly empty. There's not much left. That, that's why I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> Probably I used it up now. This is such a good SPF. Right now I also have the SPF from Bure. I will use the big bottle up first and then probably I will repurchase this because I really need this in summer. And the next thing I also used up is the Brio Sheo Don't Repair Repair Mask. As you could see uh, in my, as you could see already in my Sephora haul, I already repurchased this. This is the best thing for my hair and for my bleached hair there's nothing better so I would always repurchase this again and again and again the next product I have is a non beauty product and this is the MAC fix plus spray honestly I love this this is a really good setting spray for me right now though I have two other ones this Anastasia one and the Fenty one which you could see also in my Sephora haul so I don't will I won't re will repurchase this also I have the little mini one here uh, the only thing I probably want to try out are the little, little small ones but right now I'm not in the need of the fix plus because I'm testing other ones so it's okay it's one of my favorites it will be repurchased but right now no the next thing i have is from claire's the midnight blue calming cream and guys i'm so on the fence with this um i think it's an okay cream i think it's very moisturizing but i don't think it's worth the money i think you get cheaper drugstore uh, moisturizers for they do the same like they do the same like this one so i don't think i will re purchase this I'm sorry <laughs> and then I have also the Etude House slim drawing eyebrows slim eyebrow pencil and it's used up and I found now the cap now that I don't use it now that I throw it away I found the other cap uh, I will really have to repurchase this this is one of my favorite eyebrow products so yes love this definitely I have to get a backup then I have also used up a little tart concealer this is in the shade light neutral it's a little bit too dark for me however I really liked it when I was on vacation and I just did spot concealing and no foundation at all uh, I have the big one the big concealer like in the full size uh, I really like it but it's not something Right now, I think it gets a little bit too cakey and it's a little bit too much coverage and I like the NARS concealer more than the Tarte one, so I would not get another one. And then what I, what I used up to is from Becca Cosmetics, the First Light Priming Filter Primer. I really like this. This has like this purple undertone which makes your skin more bright and lets the complexion look more not so dull anymore it makes you more glowy and I really like this it's also very moisturizing 
um, right now I have so many I have so many 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 primer I have to get used before I get this back but probably in the future I will buy this again because I really liked it used up is the Blossom Picnic Primer from Etude House finally this took me a year <laughs> more and don't get me wrong it's not a bad primer at all it's like mediocre like I don't think there's anything special about it I think after a while you don't really have hydration anymore like I think you really get glowy in the beginning and then after a while it's not that glowy anymore so it's not the best it was okay don't think I will repurchase this and then the next thing I have is also a, a setting spray I used up I used this up when I was like spending my weekend in the hotel with Sung Han on my birthday it's the Too Faced hangover spray I really like this spray I really love it I probably get surely the full size because I really liked how it made my makeup look and I felt very refreshed and I think this is a really good setting spray and I think it was also hyped way before and I understand now this is really good <laughs> or maybe I get a small size again so I can travel with it really like this this will be on my list so the next products I have they will be all on my phone and as I said I will answer it probably here I will go a little bit here the picture here and tell you if I want to repurchase this or not first product is from Biore and it's a UFA light bright up base UFA SPF 50 pH plus 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 4 plus and I love this this was such a good primer this had a good SPF it made my skin really bright right now I have so many primers I have to use first before I get this so I will definitely get this again but right now I'm good the next product is uh, the Milano CC vitamin C serum thing it's kind of oily I love this CC uh, this vitamin C so much it is so cheap too if you can get your hands on it definitely check this out this has such a good price it's such a good packaging because no light can go through it so your vitamin C can't oxidize and this is amazing it did wonders on my skin love this so much Another product I used up is the L'Oreal Perfect Match Foundation and I love this foundation so much. I don't know how how many bottles I have already already had from this, like probably four or so and that's really rare with foundation for me. This is like one of the best drugstore foundation of all time. I would always go back, I always go back and buy this foundation right now. I'm really having, have to get rid of other foundations I don't like, but I don't want to throw away because they were too expensive. But I will definitely get this again and I can recommend this to you. Then what I had, I had the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramid Capsules Line Erasing Night Serums and they came in like in this capsule thing. And guys, I don't really think this is worth the price. Please save your money i had that i don't think there's a lot of product to use because it came as i said in these little capsules and i don't really see a difference when i use them like it was okay but nothing fancy so no the next product i have is the play stick from etude house and as you already know i already repurchased this i love this product i will repurchase till i die probably so yes then i have a had a cushion foundation from a maybelline collection and i will put you the name in if I remember it or if I can find it this was such a horrible foundation and I was so happy that I could get through it like the only way I could apply this is with a beauty blender not with the pot and then really slightly because this set on my skin it looked horrible like even my boyfriend asked me once what some foundation I'm wearing because it looks really bad and it was this foundation so Oh my god I'm happy this is over and I don't have to wear this again <laughs> and I didn't want to waste my money so yeah I used it the next thing I have are the green tangerine for Goudal the vitamin C toner pads and this is such a dream everything from Goudal like I had also the serum I have to look up I had also the serum and I had like a cream and something like the spot eraser the spot eraser I didn't care about that much the serum is amazing and those toner pads are so good they are so good and I want them so bad when I go to Korea I definitely get them again I can really recommend this brand to you vitamin C brightens your skin it also gets rid of your blemishes and dark spots so this really did an amazing job I used it mainly in the morning and I really loved it 
The next thing I have is the lip and eye remover from Etude House and this stuff is so amazing. Like I went through probably six bottles. I have a new one. This removes every freaking waterproof like mascara, every freaking lip tint. This is so amazing and I always get this again, especially when I wear makeup, which is so hard to remove. <laughs> I get this over and over again. Then what I used is the Clio Cushion Foundation and it's the Kill Cover Cushion Foundation and don't get me wrong, I like it. But right now I have the Glow Foundation and the same version, just with Glow and I love Glow, so I would probably stick with the Glow one because it's the same, just that it's more glowy. Still a good foundation and if you have normal skin to oily skin I can recommend this to you. This is amazing and it has also really high coverage if it's what you're looking for. The next thing I have is from The Sim and it's the Dermaplan Sensitive Soothing Treatment and the Ultra Palm Cream. And this is what my boyfriend got me from Korea when I had really bad skin like acne. And I, I was freaking out and I was searching for something which is not breaking me out, has no fragrance and back then that was really good, like it was okay, like it's like I'm still a little bit on the fence, like it was good but it's not like impressively good, I liked it, it didn't break me out any further, it is good for sensitive skin but it doesn't do wonders. So probably I wouldn't repurchase this when I'm back in Korea but it's okay. It's okay, it's an okay product, but nothing worth to talk about like crazily. The next product is really bad <laughs> and it's from Avene and it's from Avene and it's the Aqua Chill Night Mask, Hydration Sleeping Mask. And this is like I don't get this product that much. Like I know the Laneige one and I really like this, but this one is so weird kinda. And I don't really think it had any effect on my skin, so definitely won't reach purchase this one. The next thing I have is from Claire's and it's the freshly juiced vitamin drops, pure vitamin C, Chantella extract, blah blah blah. And this is such a good vitamin C serum. I want to repurchase this again, but right now I have a vitamin C serum which I'm testing from the ordinary, it's a powder, and so I'm not in the need right now, but if I'm ever getting back to to getting a normal like a liquid vitamin C serum I either get this one or the Milano one and the Milano is cheaper though probably I get the Milano one because it's cheaper so yeah what I also used up is the Brioche Farewell Frizz blow dry perfection and heat protection cream and this is a dream I have the small one right now which is so good for traveling but the big one is like for home and I always need that because I blow dry my hair every day nearly or every second day and I love this so much and I will definitely repurchase this hopefully I get a discount at Sephora because it's kind of cheap uh, kind of kind of expensive yeah the next thing is from Cora Cosmetics and it's the peeling it's, I think it's like a turmeric it doesn't say anything anymore I show you the picture I think it's like the mask with noni and turmeric you know turmeric something and listen, I'm so confused with Cora Cosmetics, like this is a really good mask, but other than that, I haven't found a product I really like. I'm so sorry, like I had the eye oil, I had the face oil, I had the noni stick, I have still the refreshment spray with lavender scent and I have a highlighter quartz and that's not the weirdest product ever. This is the only product I liked and I would repurchase. I actually repurchased this already this is, was my second tube this is really a good peeling and it's also brightening however I can't use this every day because not every day but I'm saying like I can't use it too often because I think this is really like how should I say a little bit harsh on the skin like the the, the corns inside a little bit harsh other than that it's a good mask and I like it so the next thing I have is from Paula's Choice and it's the 10% niacinamide booster and this is such a good niacinamide except that it's so liquidy that I don't know how to apply it because it runs through my fingers and I really have to put it on the skin and it's like so tiring because right now I have the ordinary one and it's so much better because it has a little bit more 
texture to it this is so liquidy but it's still it's a good nine centimeter and maybe i we purchase it if i'm not happy with the ordinary one right now i'm happy with the ordinary one so let's let it be and then i have also from claire's again the midnight blue yuff youth activation drops and guys you can save your money on this because this has absolutely no use like this is absolutely had no effect on my skin it didn't do anything for my dull skin dark circles it didn't do anything for my lines like i don't i don't i don't get this product i don't think it is any good it's also very like liquidy you can't really put it on your skin so i'm really confused and save your money on this like really the next thing is the claire's vitamin e nine cinnamon like it's like nine cinnamon boosting radiance and glow mask it's high freshly infused vitamin e and you should put this before you put on your vitamin c and i like this mask i think it made my skin very glowy made it very moisturized that's what i'm looking for when i'm using a mask and i liked it and if i get the vitamin c i probably will get the mask again right now i'm good but it's a good product and then guys this is so good if you can get your hands on it i think you can get this on ebay it's like the daiso Pass, uh, puff sponge detergent and this gets your brushes and your sponges so clean and it costs like i don't know three us dollars or five us dollars it's really cheap i i repurchased so many bottles of this it's crazy i love this so much yes this is amazing and then guys we are done so guys we are done i told you everything that i used up it's quite a lot of stuff i think <laughs> i hope you liked it i hope i could kind of help you if you were looking for a product and you didn't know if you like it or not because i think when i really went through a product i can really tell you my personal opinion on them and yeah that's it <laughs> that's all please tell me in the comment down below if you have used also one of those products i talked about today and your experience with it and then i can only say thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you want to and i hope to see you soon bye bye